What is up guys, James here with JDC Auto here in Las Vegas. How you guys doing? Uh, repair video today, we got something a little different. Uh, we have a 2016 Mercedes 3500 RV. Um, I was looking for information on this. I didn't really get too much on the internet, so I kinda, it's something super simple. Today we're working on the passenger side seat belt not buckling. Um, I've already taken it out. Um, was looking on my shop program for some data. I didn't find anything from what I could search, but maybe I'm an idiot, I don't know. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look and show you how to do this. So, um, in order to get off this seatbelt, uh, so the issue, let's start first with the problem. The customer complaint is passenger seatbelt does not buckle. So, let's get ourselves the passenger seatbelt buckle. Let's see if I can show you. Sorry for the swinging camera to my cell phone. So anyways, let's see if I can mount this up so you can see. So you have the seatbelt right, it's usually facing like this. And you want to buckle your seatbelt in. It should just click in. Which it does at first and it seems clicked in, but any type of pressure on it, you can pull it out. It actually wasn't clicking, but I was messing with it for a little bit off camera. Dear God, I'm so sorry guys. So, well it seems to be latching now. But anyways, the concern is that it's not really latching well and it's kind of not. Yeah, see, I just was able, it was clicked in, I was able to just to rip it out. So anyways, this is not safe. You don't want someone you're, you love sitting in this seat. And see, like even right now, it's not really consistently clicking in. Anyways, I'm probably making you guys sick with the camera angles, I'm sorry. So anyways, point being is this is defective. Um, I'm the type of person that I would like to probably open this up. I think if I rip off this felt here, there's some screws under here. I'm guessing maybe, I don't know if it's here or if I just pop the sides open, but um, I'm not even gonna mess with that because I don't wanna put my, you know, someone's life on, you know, in my hands because of a bad rebuild on something like this, something simple. So we're gonna go ahead and order a new one, but let me show you how to take this out. So when you first see it, you're gonna see it kind of like this. You're gonna have a plastic cover. You have the seatbelt and the bolt you need to take out is back here. It's a Torx uh, T45. It's right here behind. It's just one bolt. And then you have this little uh, lumbar adjuster. Then when you twist it, you can't really see it on camera, but what it's doing is just kind of pressing in and out the back. But anyways, it took me a minute to figure out. Usually these are sometimes held on with like a screw behind this or there's like a clip behind this. But actually these are even more simple. These are literally just a push on or push off. So or a push on or pull off. So this literally is just on there like that. You just pull this off. Most of it's held in with clips, but there is one screw. One screw, a Torx. Ah. One screw that you need to take off from the back of the panel here. So this sits uh, on like that, right? So this sits on like that. There's one screw you need to take off. It When you're looking at it, you'll have to kind of lift up the seat here. You'll lift up and you'll see the, the hole. It'll be like right here, which is through that right there. But the hole actually is right there in that little, this little bracket here. So this little screw here, which I think is a Torx, I don't know, T35, T25, something like that. I'm sorry, my label's rip, uh, rubbed off on the, rubbed off on this one, but yeah. It's like a T25 or T30. So anyways, you take off that screw, everything else will pop off, slide up enough and get your Torx T45 in there, take it off, then you have this one. Um, the passenger one does not seem to have the, um, the airbag connector to it. Some of these will have a little airbag connector on them, but this one's just strictly metal cable connector and bolt. So I'm gonna call a Mercedes, get this replaced in there. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions, comments, leave them below, super short video. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And then reverse process, just putting it all back on. So like the video, thanks, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And we'll see you next time.